Hey y'all, welcome to B's Intuition. I'm B, and I'm here to do a message for the sign of Virgo. Thank you guys for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I do cuss and I do tell the truth. So if you don't like either one of the two, then you probably should move on. Spirit, I ask that you allow me to channel the message that you have for myself and the collective. If there is some negative energy around me, I ask that you remove it. If there is some black magic or spells coming my way or the collective's way, I ask that you block them. We thank you and we love you. All right, Virgo. Let's hop in and get your message. Spirit, allow me to channel the message. What's the message? First quarter moon in Leo. Be humble. And then we have relax at the bottom of the deck. All right, Virgos. Hmm. Be humble. So, Virgo, I'm getting that You've been through a lot, you know, a lot of hardships, a lot of struggles, kind of giving me, you know, five of pentacles energy. And I feel like that, you know, you've made it, you've made it a long way from where you, you know, come from. And I feel like that you could, you know, be doing very, very well. You could be single, you know, you could be a feminine energy. Um, but I do feel like that, you know, there is someone, you know, that could be attached to you, Virgo, that, um, could possibly be, you know, wearing a mask or whatever, you know, so they could be dealing with you and dealing with other people, take it how it resonates, but I do feel like that you're doing way better than this person. Because I do feel like that whoever this is, Virgo, they could be getting some karma from doing something to you. But I do feel like that, you know, you could be a little bit arrogant when it comes to, you know, where you, where you, where you been versus where you are now. Um, I do know that you are on your spiritual journey and whoever this is, isn't, or whoever these people aren't. That didn't sound right. Whoever these people are, aren't. Because it could be more than one person. And I feel like that you are being blessed in your life. But I feel like that you're kind of, you know, throwing it up in, you know, people's faces. That, you know, wronged you. Or that you deem as, you know, being toxic. And so that's why I feel like be humble is here. So, you know, that is your energy. Virgo, or it's someone that is attached to you. So as soon as I get these cards all in the upright, we're going to see what's going on. Yeah, because, you know, you could be, you know, single, you know, it, living an independent life. And you could have, you know gotten a new start, you know, a new beginning. And, you know, you could be doing good. You know what I'm saying? But I do feel like that it's your energy or someone else's that definitely need, definitely needs to be humble. So, let's see. Spirit wise, be humble here. Okay, so be humble is here because you are financially stable, but this is my unexpected wealth card. So Virgo, you definitely, you know, could be coming across some unexpected wealth, some money that you weren't expecting. Divine intervention, divine intervention is taking place. So spirit is the reason why you're getting ready to receive this unexpected wealth. And so, yeah, 
If I had some money just getting ready to fall in my lap, I definitely would be humble. But we're going to see why else, you know, Spirit is saying that you need to be humble, Virgo. What else, Spirit? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Intuition. But that's also my caution card. And somebody's being caught red-handed. Hmm. Virgo, you you might you know receive some unexpected wealth, but I do feel like that this is someone else that is attached to your energy that needs to be humble. Um, I do feel like that this person you know they could have received some unexpected wealth or they were doing things uh, expecting some unexpected wealth, but divine intervention is is at play. I do feel like, you know, spirit is basically trying to caution you of something, trying to basically tell you to listen to your intuition and trust your intuition because somebody is getting ready to get caught red handed. And so somebody could be trying to steal from you, Virgo. And I do feel like whoever this is, they need to be humble because you're, you know, you're an earth angel, you're a spiritual being. And so, whoever this is, I do feel like that it is the same energy from the beginning um, that wronged you. And you could have, you know, went on on your new beginning in your life and, you know, are doing, you know, what you need to do for your life. And maybe this person is trying to double back and do some, you know, deceitful things uh, for some unexpected. Man, I can't make it up. Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck for some unexpected money. Yeah justice so for some of you it could be you know a legal situation um i don't know but let's get into it yeah spirit wise unexpected wealth here mm. eight of cups Divine Intervention. Five of Wands. Ah. Yeah. We're going to, I don't know who's, this might be your energy to be humble and, you know, somebody else's energy. But what I'm seeing now is, you know, Virgo, you definitely could be receiving some unexpected wealth because you're walking away, you know, from a situation. Divine intervention is at play when it comes to, you know, some conflict, some rivalry, arguments, tension. Um, but the five of wands, you know, is, you know, family drama. And so I feel like divine intervention is at play when it comes to whatever this family drama is. So, you know, it could be a person or it could just be, you know, walking away from a family situation. Uh, your sisters, your brothers, you know, toxic things, toxic people, toxic places. But there is divine intervention when it comes to, you know, this drama. So, you know, either someone was expecting to get some unex uh, some unexpected wealth from you and you walked away or they were trying to get some unexpected wealth from somewhere else, but they didn't get it. And so they walked away. But divine intervention is at play because there is some some drama, some some conflict that is getting ready to come your way. So in the next seven days, you know, with the caution card here, you know, be cautious because there could be someone you know, that could have you could have walked away from that could want to come towards you to cause some type of conflict, some type of drama. What does this have to do with be humble spirit? Trust your intuition, listen to your intuition, caution. Yeah, seven pinnacles. Somebody was definitely, you know, evaluating some pinnacles. Definitely, you know, looking to um, progress when it comes to some type of finances. And so there could be someone that definitely was trying to steal. Caught right handed. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let's go back. Wow. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. So, there is someone that is attached to your energy, Virgo, that, you know, basically was in a situation ship. And I do feel like that the legal, the justice card has something to do with it. I feel like someone, you know, got some type of money from, you know, a settlement, from some life insurance, from um, some back pay with this unexpected wealth. And I feel like someone, you know, got it. But didn't give somebody some. And so whoever this is, you know, with the Eight of Cups here, they walked away. And I do feel like that uh, divine, inter divine Invention is at play because there is someone that is going to try to cause some type of conflict for somebody in the next seven days. So, you know, be cautious, pay attention, and listen to your intuition because someone is, you know, basically analyzing some money. And they do want their, their reward. They feel like they've been patient. And they want it. And so with that being said, someone could definitely try to steal. Um, but whoever this is, I do feel like that, you know, they're going to try to create an illusion. Like they want to move forward. You know, like they want to, you know, have some type of, type of stability with someone. But I do feel like that this person is operating in the devil energy. Put one on the Eight of Cups. Or they're attached, you know, to a toxic situation ship. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. All right. Seven of Pentacles. Okay. Another scenario. Thank you, Spirit. So somebody's waiting on some unexpected income. Uh, whether you know it or not, Virgo. This is someone that you walked away from. That's why they're stuck in a situation. They're not stuck. They're just waiting to see if they're going to get this money. Um, and that's who, that's someone that you walked away from. Um, you know, this person, you know, best, I feel like that you're trying to, you know, balance your life out. Continue to, you know, adapt to everything that's going on around you. But I do feel like that um, whoever this person is that you walked away from... They're basically indecisive because, you know, they're trying to wait for this unexpected wealth. But I do feel like that they have someone and I do feel like it's you that will make them happy. You know, I feel like that you are financially stable. You know, you are Queen of Wands energy. You are confident, passionate. I feel like that you have everything this person needs. But this person, I feel like they're just focused on money. And so, you know, they're kind of juggling with do they stay or do they leave this situation because it's creating conflict between you and them divine intervention is at play so in the next seven days there is someone that is going to be making a decision whoever this is they definitely are going to take a risk and so be cautious because it could be that this whoever this is or there is someone that is attached to the person that you walked away from. Either way it goes, um, somebody is trying to look into somebody's finances because they're trying to basically get rewarded off of somebody else's stuff. You know, they're trying to progress off somebody else's stuff. Queen of Wands is here, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. I feel like that, you know, because you are, you know, in this Queen of Wands energy, I feel like that these people think that you you know, our uh, punk pussy pushover. And so in the next seven days, there is someone that is going to be caught red-handed. And whoever this is, they try to come back to you before, you know, so they could have reconciled, went back to a situation, reconciled and went back to a situation. The situation that they went towards is a toxic situation ship. A karmic contract. And so I do feel like in the next seven days, you're going to catch somebody red handed as far as uh, them, you know, going to reconcile, you know, with the past person that is very toxic and low vibing. And so whoever this is, they do need to be humble because you could have, you know, assisted this person with unexpected wealth. You could have, you know, given to this person financially and they walked away from you. Or you walked away from them, either way it goes. And they basically try to juggle you. And it created a lot of conflict 
But there is someone that is out here planning and plotting, you know, on somebody's finances. Unexpected wealth, eight of cups, two of pentacles. Yeah, so I do feel like whoever this energy is, um, they I do feel like they were expecting some unexpected income. And basically, they were just in a situation because of that. And so they could have been, you know, uh, acting funny, treating you weird or doing whatever. And you could have walked away. Well, this person was juggling, you know. They were juggling you and a karmic. And I do feel like that this person, they, they were. They were playing games that were playing with you like you were a kid you know what i'm saying and so divine intervention is at play because if this person want to play with somebody they can play with god he got he he want all the smoke divine intervention five of wands two of wands mm-hmm wow Divine intervention is at play. And I do feel like that in the next seven days, there could be some type of tension, some type of conflict. Somebody's planning. And it's going to surprise you. But I'm also getting, too, that, you know, when it comes to this unexpected income, I do feel like, you know, because you walked away and because, you know, you're trying to balance out your life, I do feel like that, you know, you're going to be able to... Um, receive some unexpected income because of it and you know these people or this person try to play with you you know like you were a kid like you were a punk pussy pushover and spirit you know is divinely intervening because I feel like if this person wants to cause some type of conflict or whatever they can plan with God but I feel like that you know you are going to be surprised because you're going to find out in the next seven days that there was that there is someone that is trying to plan some type of you know conflict could be to try to physically fight you physically harm you and it is for some money and I do feel like Virgo that spirit is cautioning you to trust and, and listen to your intuition because someone is trying to get trying to reward themselves off of your finances or off of you know whatever or they could have already done it so for some of you you know somebody could have committed identity theft identity fraud or you know did something behind the scenes to possibly steal from you but these people are getting ready to get caught right-handed and there is a person that had you have reconciled before that is a part of you know the plot part of the plan and it's going to surprise you to know that yeah in the next seven days that this person is a part of the plan Trust your intuition. Seven of Pentacles. Queen of Wands. Mm -hmm. Yep. And caution because, you know, whoever these people are, because I feel like it's more than just one people, more than two people. It could be up to four people. I do feel like that they are analyzing some, some money. And they are planning and plotting to basically progress off of your money. And they are gossiping. They are talking about you. And so that could be what gets them caught. So in the next seven days, there are people that's going to be talking too much. And they're going to give too many too much information. And they're, they're going to get caught red-handed. Caught red-handed. Six of swords. The devil. Yeah, and there's a masculine energy, yeah, that's going to be disgusted when they get caught. Yeah. Yep. Because these people were thirsty. Whoever these people are, they were thirsty. Um, for some of you, um, some of these people or one of these people or whatever could definitely be a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Playing games. Mm -hmm. Yeah, three of pentacles. Yeah. 
working with other people to play games with with you, with your finances, with whatever. But whoever these people are, they are expecting to get, you know, unexpected income, unexpected wealth in a deceitful way. And and there are people that are playing games, they're working together to play, play games when it comes to you. Surprise feminine energy. Mm-hmm. Page of Cups. Yeah, because it's someone that, you know, you have feelings for. It's someone, you know, that you could have been loyal to, you know. Um, but I do feel like you're going to be surprised whenever you receive this message. Mm-hmm. Because you are going to receive some type of message in the next seven days about some type of conflict or some type of plan. And it's going to surprise you as to who it is. So this could be, you know, your, your child for some of you, um, your younger brother, younger sister, you know, or someone that's just younger than you. But it's someone that you have emotional attachment to. Gospel. Mm-hmm. The Hierophant. Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. And so divine intervention is here. The Hierophant. God himself is here. And so, yeah. I do feel like that the, the message that you're going to receive is straight from God. And it's basically God is going to reveal to you these people that are gossiping. So they're going to be. So that's how these people are going to get red, get caught red handed because they don't they don't believe, you know, in high vibing things. Spirit is going to in the next seven days, spirit is going to bring you a message and it's going to basically reveal to you what these people were doing. And they're going to get caught red handed. Thirsty. Mm, King of Swords. Yep. So thirsty that they're getting ready to go to jail with this King of Swords here. Wow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Woo. Three of Pentacles. Yeah. Yep. So, you, yeah, in the next seven days, you're going to get a message. Because whoever these people are that are working together to play games with you, um, yeah, they definitely are slandering your name for some of you. Um, these people are cowards. They're definitely trying to blackmail you for some of you. But they think they're outsmarting you and they're they're being outsmarted. Because, yeah, um, there could even be someone in this little group that is this page of cups that is going to tell you what what they did page of cups because yeah seven of swords in reverse is confessing as well mm -hmm. yeah not of pentacles mm -hmm. page of cups not of pentacles so yeah you're going to get a message that you know somebody's working hard to do something with your finances but i do feel like there is a person that is going to reveal to you you know that they basically were hard working to reward themselves off of your finances. The Hierophant. I can't make it up. Six of Wands. Mm hmm. Yeah. And these people, yeah, they definitely were planning. They're definitely were planning and plotting. But in the next seven days, um, yeah, Spirit is basically going to deal with these people. But they're going. But Spirit is going to give you the Six of Wands. Spirit is going to give you the success and victory because these people try to steal from you. So again, like I said in the beginning, you definitely could be see receiving unexpected wealth because these people and they possibly could have already stole something. You just don't know. King of Swords. Yep. Yep. And so with that being said, you know, who I do feel like that there is one person that and that's why this be humble card is because here because I feel like that you did a lot for somebody in this group. And they basically, you know, are betraying you. And whoever this is, you know, they definitely um you know will come reconcile with you then go back to their <laughs> karmic situation ship then come back to you because whoever this is are thirsty they're going to jail them and all their their counterparts are going to jail and they are going to be very disappointed they are going to take a lot of loss i can't make it up them and their counterparts seven of swords in reverse
Mm-hmm. Yep. Seven of Wands. But at the end of the day, <laughs> I do feel like that, you know, regardless if you know or not, you are you already know to stand your ground to these people, whoever these are, whoever these people are. So I feel like it's people that are attached to whoever this is that keeps coming back and forth in your life. Mm-hmm. But I'm also getting to that that is part of the divine intervention. So there is a spirit guide who is basically on the front lines for you as well. So God then came off his throne. There's a spirit guide and then came behind the, the, the scenes. Mm -hmm. And for some of you, you know, their divine invention is at play. God and your spirit guide is here because, you know, with the, the magician is here. So they, whoever these people are, they could also be trying to do black magic and spells as well. Mm -hmm. Six of Wands. Yep. Divine intervention. You know, these people, they want to whisper. They want to talk. They talk too much. They talk too much. And they they got caught red-handed because God saw every, sees everything and, saw, see, and hears everything. And so they were gossiping. And God said, who are you talking about? I know you ain't talking about B's intuition. I know you ain't talking about that one. You, you can't be messing with that one like that. So yeah, when it comes to their plan and plot to have the six and one success and victory, the world, it ends. But I'm also getting to that, you know, these people are going to gossip and whisper. And God came off his, his throne and was like, look, uh, you thought you stole something, but you have no idea. Six of wands in the world, success and victory, recognition, you know, praise, achievement, fulfillment, wholeness. This is what I'm going to give to, to, you know, B's intuition, B's, B's nation. And, and on what I'm going to give to you is you get ready to get caught red handed. Because I'm getting ready to go ahead and give you what you've been asking for. This karma. This work. Yeah. And so, yeah. And whoever this is, they definitely went towards, you know, a, to a karmic, you know, a toxic situation shit. All these people are thirsty, but they're going to jail. And they're going to regret the day that they mess with you because they're going to have to watch you move forward with the chariot. Seven of Wands. Yep, I can't make it up. <laughs> Will of Fortune. Mm -hmm. Yep, you're getting ready to have an unexpected event. But I feel like it's going to be a, 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 a big one, a great one. The Magician. But things are getting ready to change in these people's lives. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The Hermit in Reverse. Yeah. Yep, and whoever these people are, change, they're getting ready to be changes in your life and changes in their life. But they're getting ready to go through a lot of sadness, a lot of, a lot of loneliness, a lot of delays, a lot of rejections. The world, but that's what they try to cause for you. Mhm. Mm yeah. Yeah. These people are going to have to watch you and your light, you know, shine bright like a diamond. And yeah. They're going to be bored. They're going to be discon disconnected from the world. They're going to be cold. You know what I mean? And this is all because whoever this is didn't want to be humble. The chariot. Because I feel like they did a lot in the past. And, you know, they haven't really paid their dues for what they did. Yeah. And so with that being said, it starts today or in the next seven days. Um, mm -hmm. You're moving forward. They're going to have to watch you move forward. You sacrificed a lot for these people. You know, you were uncertain, you know, whether it was going to work out or not, but you still were good to these people. Um, you waited for these people, you know, and you basically helped these people to, you know, progress in their lives spiritually, mentally, or emotionally. Yep. Changes are getting ready to take place, and you're also getting ready to get a new beginning in love as well, why they want to play games. The Hermit in Reverse. Mm-hmm. Look. King of Cups. Mm -hmm. Somebody that's diplomatic. Somebody that's balanced, wise, calm, caring, loyal, faithful. Yeah. Four of Cups. Yep. And you're going to be happy. They're going to be... These people are going to be 
possibly in jail, hungry, sinking, starving, eating their little bologna sandwiches, no cheese, no mayonnaise, uh, whatever. <laughs> but yeah. So these people are liable to watch you get unexpected income, progress in your life, a new beginning in love, mm -hmm. and be happy. And so basically they were trying to, um, you know, get this happy life off of you. And they're getting ready to get the, the, the opposite. Uh, because they try to steal. Or for some of you, they did steal. Yeah. High Priestess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm also feeling to, feeling like, too, that you are going to receive a new spiritual gift. Or your, your spiritual gifts that you already have are going to be enhanced. But I feel like that you, you know, already know what's going on. But in the next seven days, you are going to, you know, get some more information that... Uh, well, for some of you, you possibly know, but not all of you. But in the next seven days, you are going to get some information. You are going to get a message that somebody was planning and plotting on your money. Yeah. I'm trying to steal your cookies out of your cookie jar. Keep your hands out of my cookie jar. They don't even know what kind of cookies is in your jar. They just want your cookies. What if you have boo-boo cookies in there? They still gonna want them then? Come on, bro. Alright, Virgos. Let's get the rest of this message so we can be out. Hiding secrets. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but whoever this person is that's attached to you, Virgo, uh, this person is is very ego driven. And if they're not humble with with real genuine love and real genuine care, then honey, I don't know what to tell you. Spirit, what else do the Virgos need to know? Yeah, they're gonna be. They were laughing in the past. But they're be, they're gonna be crying now or in the next seven days. Yep, because they were focused on the wrong things. Mhm. Mm Water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Definitely could possibly be trying to return. Like I said. They're attached to a toxic situation. Yeah. Somebody that you ended it with. But I do feel like that there's getting ready to be an ending to whoever this past person is. Mm-hmm. There's your earth sign. There's that's your energy. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep, there's getting ready to be an ending for whoever this water sign past person is. Because when it comes to you, they did. They try to cause some type of bad physical health, bad physical harm. And now they're suffering in silence. Or that's what they planned. You know, bad physical health, bad physical harm. Or in the next seven days, they're going to be suffering in silence. Yeah. With their third party. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They should have listened more and talked less. Yes. Because they're not ready for what's getting ready to take place. Mm-hmm. Yep. But your present energy is unbothered and happy. Yep. And you're on your spiritual journey. And that's why everything is backfiring and the tables are turning on these people. Yeah, because they're stuck in their old ways. And so they just want to get the get money in the old way. Do they know we live in 2023? It's so easy to get some money. Mm -hmm. But guess what? They're running out of gas. So they don't got no talent. They don't got no, you know what I'm saying? They don't have no, no ambition. They don't have no drive. They don't have no hustle, baby. Whoever these people are, sickening. Mm -hmm. Yep. And they definitely were trying to do black magic and spells. But guess what? It didn't stop. Your blessings on blessings on blessings on blessings on blessings. 
Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's give me a couple more. Mm-hmm. One for the floor. Wow. Yeah. And these people are money are having money issues. Mm-hmm. Yep. And so they've been watching you. All eyes on you. And they did. They did. They did. Identity theft. But guess what? Unexpected wealth. Money from a court situation. Yeah. So you don't even know what's going on. And then we have, yeah, intuition at the bottom of the deck. So listen to it. Trust it. Mm-hmm. Listen to it and trust it. Because... You, what you don't see, you're going to be able to see in the next seven days. So, Rogo, I hope that this resonated. If it did, please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon.